Okay, uh, one of the students actually asked me about this indices question in my Facebook page. So yeah, I decided to make make a video for him because I find this indices question is uh, very uncommon for SBM MS student. So yeah, so I decided to make one video. And I also hope this video actually can benefit a lot of students just in case you see some indices question like this. Alright, the question is basically is like this. Is the question say if uh two p two power of p equals to three power of q or equals to thirty six power of r, and then he asks you to show that two r bracket q plus p will equals to p q. Alright, you know, a lot of students when they see something like this, they have no idea how to show. So yeah, so over here you must be able to see that in order to get uh the answer you want. You act basically you, you need to try to form two equations. So this one I'm going to call it first equation. And then from here this is my second equation. Alright, so my first equation basically is is, is like this. So I, I will say two power of p equals to three power of q. Because the first time when I tried to do this question, I thought I need to use log in order to solve this. But actually, yeah, log doesn't help me because my final answer here have no log. So I I will not use log to solve this question. So I will try the method like this. I will try to move the power of p to the other side. So this one will become 3 power of q and p will become 1 over p. Alright, so, and then this is 2 power, 2 will equals to 3 power of q over p. Alright, I hope you can get the idea. Uh, for this step so i i roughly give you some idea let's say i will say uh 2 power of 3 equals to a so if i move my power of 3 to the other side it will actually will become q root q root isn't it so q root actually is the same idea with a power 1 over 3 okay this is what happens over here this is just an example okay this is nothing related i just give you some example and then at least you know what is happening so at the end, I actually get 2 actually equals to 3 power of q over p. Alright, then this is my first equation. Then I'm going to go into my second equation, which is this thing. Which is uh, 3 power of q equals to 36r. Alright, so I will do below. So let's say, I say my 3 power of q equals to 36r. Alright, and then obviously we know... 3 power of anything, we will, we will not get 36. Because 3 power of 3 is 27 and 3 power of 4 is 81. So 36 actually is between them. But it doesn't matter because at least I know if I can get 2, I can substitute something related to 3 into here. And first thing come to my mind for 39, I know it's 4 multiple, uh, 36 is 4 multiple 9. So this one is 4 multiple. The dot on the middle here means multiple, multiple 9. Uh, Alright, then I just simplify this one. This one actually is 2 power of 2. Okay, and then multiple with 3 power of 3. Uh, 3 power of 2. Uh, Alright, then I just like move my R inside if I want. So, yeah, so I basically I will get something like this. 3 power of Q equals to 2 power of 2R multiple 3 power of 2R. Okay, then I will try to substitute my 2 into here. Okay, so you can see how I substitute is. I, I will make my 2 into 3 power of Q over P. Multiple, I just write multiple. 2R. So I will substitute this one into here. So you can see my 2 actually is 3 power of Q over P. Okay, I just changed the 2 into a 3 power of q over p. Then I try to solve this question. Okay, so... Okay, what I can do over here, let me guess. So, yeah, this is 3 power of q equals to... This is 3 power of... Okay, is a bit complicated. Uh, yeah, less multiple. Basically, is 2r. And this is Q over P. Multiple mean plus 2R, isn't it? Alright, then. 
Okay, then whenever both sides, I only have one number, which is 3, I can simplify it. I say Q will equals to 2R. And then this is Q over P plus 2R. Alright, then I simplify it by uh, factorize out the 2R. This one basically is Q over P plus 1. Alright, then I will continue to solve it until I get the answer I want. So I make this one have the same denominator by doing this 1 over 1 isn't it? I multiple P here and I multiple P here. So what I will do is this one called Q plus P over P. Alright, then I almost done because what I want to get for my final answer is PQ on the other side. Okay, I roughly see this thing. So basically what I do over here will be very simple. I just move my P to the other side. It's multiple with Q. So I will get PQ equals to 2R bracket. I write my R nicely. 2R bracket Q plus P. But the final answer I think is Q plus P or P plus, yeah, Q plus P. All right, yes. So yeah, the question asked me to show. So I just write a shown here right i hope yeah my this short video actually give you some idea how actually i get this equation so first thing whenever you see two equal over here yeah you must get the idea basically you can form two equation first equation from here and the second equation from here all right then after you form two equation Yes, you must get the idea actually you can make 2 as a subject or 3 as a subject in this case. I believe both methods will actually give you, will lead you to the same answer. Alright, then what I do is, yeah, after that you must understand 36 actually you can separate into the 4 and 9. And then you need to understand some basic indices law means you actually can power multiple into both. Yeah, and then you will get this one and then do some substitution work. And then you're just trying to simplify until you get uh, one tree on each side. Then you can just ignore it, just compare their power. So yeah, I just compare their power. So mean Q will equals to 2R and then Q plus P plus 2R. And then I will try to factorize out 2R in order to get what the answer want me to do. So I, and then I just simplify until the end, I will get the answer. All right. I hope. You can understand a little bit about this video. Okay, if you have any question, you can post a comment below or you can find me on my Facebook page. Anyways, if you like it, you can subscribe it or share it to your friend. Thanks for watching.